Oh my God, it's Sherrod from Sherrod's Lunchbox. Dude, come on in. Hi guys, welcome to Sherrod's Lunchbox. On today's episode, I've got Calvin Air. Calvin's gonna to talk to us about his website, his business, and a whole lot more. Calvinair.com. Uh, Calvinair.com is a media company, and uh, it's actually produced by a company called Nude Fish Media, which is one of my companies as well, and it's a media property that covers the online gaming industry, but from a edgy lifestyle perspective, which I'm known for, so uh, that's basically my new project because I'm not running, actually running operating entities anymore since I sold Bodog.com but uh, I still have Bodogbrand.com which is a brand licensing entity and uh, that company licenses the Bodog brand for online gaming mostly but it could be anything and it also uh, develops and licenses technology. Yeah, it's amazing timing. I mean, I'm here in Vancouver for my 2010 annual summer holiday and I'm usually try to get here sometime in the summertime and do a bit of boating and whatnot and visit my family. And just flukily, while I was here, BC Lottery Corporation actually launched an online gaming site called Play Now. And I was asked about it and I said it was a great thing because it validates what I've said all along about what online gaming represents, which is basically just another branch of the global entertainment world. But what was amazing about that is on top of that, they made a major mistake in positioning the reason why they were opening the site up as being because of trust. When in fact, everybody knows the real reason they're doing it is for money, which is great. I mean, nobody's going to begrudge the government of BC trying to keep money in BC circulating in the economy. So that's great. But when they took the trust angle, they really set themselves up because their site was immediately hacked the first day and it's been down ever since. So. I mean, it's pretty obvious to everybody in the industry that the private companies who, on average, will always outperform a publicly owned entity like a, you know, Crown Corporation. But on top of that, we've got a 15, 16 year head start in this business. We're the ones teaching them how to do it. And even with our coaching, my competitors, not myself directly, but even with the coaching of our industry, the private sector, they still screwed it up. So from my perspective, it was a double win. A, it would legitimize the space and B, you know, showed that the yeah, private companies are in fact really good at what they do. I started developing software for the internet in 1994 and uh, I can't remember exactly when MySpace came out. I think it was uh, 2000, 2002-ish. But I was an early person on MySpace as well and in fact I had thousands and thousands of people before I retired in 2006. And since I've come out of retirement with my media property, Kelvinair.com, I've actually started working with Facebook and Twitter and uh, trying to find ways to integrate what I'm doing with my blog and the community that I'm building around my, well I call it a tablog actually because it's a tabloid blog, but the community I'm building around that and how I'm integrating into the various social media streams that I'm using. So it's a lot of fun and uh, we're learning. I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think there's anybody out there that for sure knows where this is all going. Well, first of all, the site in its current format is never gonna be huge because it's, a neat, it's aimed at a niche market. It's aimed specifically at people who actually work or desire to work in the online gaming sector or media who cover it. And that's the only audience for it right now. So clearly it's not going to be a huge audience, but it's a global audience. And it's a very powerful audience in my sector. Basically it's all the people that you want to have influence with that are the audience for my site. So from that perspective, it, it, I think it's been very successful. I mean, we've got already, looking at the people we're targeting with it, we've already got a big audience. Thank you. In my industry, it's all about Asia. And I think you can see why. That's only one reason though. The main reason is because that's where the growth is. All the growth in online gaming and land-based gaming. And it probably will be for the next 20 to 50 years. So that's the big, big thing. The other big thing that's happening in our space is what I call convergence. And that, what that is about is that uh, 
People who started in online gaming are now looking at getting involved in land-based gaming and land-based casinos are all trying to figure out how to get into online gaming. So what you're going to see is the brands and, and organizations converging together and there's still going to be more winners and losers out of this. But when the dust all settles, I think the people that are going to be the big winners in, in our industry are going to be the people that focus on ha having a, a competent Asia strategy and have a competent convergence strategy. What is uh, the legacy that you want to leave in the gaming world? Hell of a fun guy. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kel. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome.